Hi, and welcome back to Stinger Australia in Focus. I'm Trav. And I'm Mick. And today we're going to be talking about CAN bus. Now, CAN bus can be a scary thing for a lot of people. Don't get worried. I know people treat CAN bus as like the zombie of CAN bus things. You know, oh, it's scary. Oh, I don't want to touch it. Oh, that's not a hard car to deal with. Well, really, CAN bus isn't. CAN bus was invented by car manufacturers to basically save money on copper through cabling they were running in the car. So where before they were running 13 wires to a module, now they only run four which means it's a high-speed network that runs throughout the car for all the devices to talk to each other. Now, this is great for manufacturers because they can check module diagnosis and check that everything's working and the car is being serviced. It also allows them to add new features because it's all software controlled. But what happens when you want to put another device in the car? So you want to add a light bar, driving lights, reverse trigger, toaster oven. What do you do? Well, that's where the products from CanMate come into play. CanMate's a pro uh, company based out of the UK who live and breathe CAN bus integration. These guys do everything from your basic uh, ignition trigger uh, all the way through to your Mac Daddy, reverse park, speed pulse, illumination, the list goes on. And as you see here, we've, got, we've assembled the Avengers, a range of different colored modules, which basically give you all different outputs. Now the first thing when people think of CAN bus is, oh, radio replacement. And these guys do radio replacement modules, starting with a unit that will just give you ignition output, to a unit that will give you the hamburger with a lot, everything you need for a navigation unit, speed, pulse, reverse trigger, handbrake, ignition, uh, tax signal, the lot. But the cool thing with CANMATE is they also do a lot of specialist modules. Mm -hmm. and some stuff that is required when you are replacing the radio or when you want to add additional devices. Mm -hmm. Now the first one we're going to look at is the Park Tone. Now the Park Tone's a great little module for when you're replacing the head unit and the vehicle has integrated reverse chimes into the factory system. So when you remove that head unit, you also lose your reverse sensor chimes. Now this module will integrate into those, uh, into those vehicles and allow that replication of that chime to come through. Uh, that is available in two levels, uh, one for uh, reverse sensor only and one for front and rear sensor retention as well. And some of the other modules the guys do as well is the Park One. Now the Park One is a really cool module that wires into the CAN network in the car and lets you to add front sensors to the vehicle. Now you're probably thinking, why do I need this to add front sensors to the vehicle? I can just wire it in the way it goes. Now, unless you want to unsightly switch on the dash that you'd have to basically turn on and off every time, this guy gives you an output to power up and control your park sensor system on the front so it only works when the car is going at a very slow speed or when the car is stopped. And you still have the ability of using an override switch on it to turn the system on and off. So it makes it more integrated and more of a factory feel to it. Mm -hmm. Now the next one that we've got is the, uh, is the pulse module. This will give you a speed pulse output. So great for integrating um, uh, cruise control modules uh, or you know, in some vehicles like those driver learner cars, uh, it allows you to put a second speedo in. To, yeah, to, exactly. To, yeah. You know, for, for the driving instructor to be able to keep an eye on that speed. <laughs> and some of the other modules the guys do as well, for example, you'll see with the purple one over here, uh, well, let's call him Ant-Man, which will basically give you a high beam triggered output. Now you don't think that's much, Oh, I get a high beam triggered output. But take, for example, Land Rover and Range Rover vehicles. Now, these guys have a CAN controlled headlight. Now, you're thinking, oh, it's got a globe. How can it be CAN controlled? These guys are LED. With a lot of modern vehicles, the LED headlights in the car are actually part of the data network. So when the light stops working, it reports that, hey, the light's not working. This means you can't t uh, connect onto it traditionally like you would when you'd put a light bar or driving lights in the car. So this guy gets wired into the CAN network and gives you an analog high beam trigger out. So fantastic for light bars, which a lot of people are putting in their cars, driving lights, roof lights, mm -hmm. that kind of thing as well. Yep. Uh, as well as emergency vehicles if you're needing lights hooked up off your high beam network. Now CAN M8 also specialise in uh, custom um, uh, triggers and, and sensors. Yes, so basically where some cars you might need a very specific output or specific control. So say for example with a lot of cars that have start-stop technology in it. So you pull up the lights, the car turns itself off, you go to drive on again, car starts again. People think you don't know how to drive. It's actually the car turning itself on and off to save fuel. Some people don't like this feature and some cars you have the ability of turning it on and off. 
So with this module in here, you can disable that feature in the car. There's also additional modules like Remlock, which allows you to leave the car running and lock the vehicle, great for letting your car warm up when it's in your garage and it's on private property, uh, as well as having the ability of, say, turning uh, devices on and off via your steering wheel controls. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you've got anything in particular that you'd like to look at or know if there's something available, please drop us a line and, uh, yeah, if it's available, we'll let you know. Or if it's something that we can work with the guys at CanMate, um, they're more than willing to, to work with us and do some real-time analysing. And that's one of the cool things we can do with this range of product and service that we offer is basically for our customers, if they do get a vehicle that has not been listed as compatible or you want to see if you can get certain data out of the vehicle to control devices, uh, basically, we can work directly with Canimate using their technology, so real-time we can take data from the car out, load it into one of these modules, and actually give you the outputs that you need. So if you are a retailer and you're looking for that, drop us a line and we can certainly work with you with that one. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all pretty much we have for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please remember to subscribe to our Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram channels, and have a great day. Catch you later. See ya.